So I, I was in Boston yesterday and I drove by the Cheers bar. Cheers is like the perfect example of local, personalized customer marketing and relationships, right? Norm sits around the bar, everybody knows each other, they all love each other, they all come back to that same bar because they know the other people, the bar knows them, they know what they drink, they know what they like. People crave recognition and acknowledgement. It, it's, a, it's human nature, and, and local businesses are very well positioned to be able to deliver that because they are small, they're local, their customer base is somewhat limited, and so they have a chance and an opportunity to get, the, to get to know the people that patronize them. That's obviously much, much more difficult at scale for very large brands. However, human nature for small businesses, human nature for large businesses as well. And so I think what you see is a lot of big businesses now looking and saying, how do I get to know my customers in the same way that local businesses are? And the first answer that people had was, well, I'm going to go to social media. There's a great avenue for me to now look on Facebook or look on Twitter and talk directly to a consumer. Marketing used to be about talking at people, and now it became about talking with people. It was a two-way conversation, and that was an exciting development for marketers, and that is an exciting development. The difficulty is, is that I have more personas than just the one that exists on Facebook or the one that exists on Twitter, and those multiple different personas all engage with the brand in different places. And I think about the brand as one single entity. I think about the brands I engage with as one single entity. They need to be able to look back at me and understand me as a single entity as well. However, if they see Facebook me and Twitter me and email me and online me and in-store me and mobile me as all different people, they don't really know who I am. And so they can never really personalize that experience and really treat me, treat me as the person that I am as it relates to my engagement with them. And so bridging that gap and aggregating that identity back to a specific individual is really, really critical, but possible. And when you do that, that is what can allow big business to now take that information and create essentially a small business-like relationship with their customers. And when you do that, that's what pe keeps people coming back and shopping with you, shopping at your store, buying your product in stores, whatever you may be selling.